Hey, gun people. We're going to do a quick one on uh, how to clean your camelback. Um, there's my little carrier. Of course, this you can clean with just soap and water, etc. Uh, I put my blood type on here just so uh, I know it's mine and if it's on my back and uh, medical sees it, maybe they'll know what blood type I am. I also uh, mark my uh, little medical stuff with my uh, O positive blood type. But anyway, the camelback, pull the bladder out. Uh, I've got the bladder hanging there uh, for a couple days. Uh, if you take off the, uh, the bite tube or the bite uh, seal, um, all, all I do when I wash mine is uh, I use a little soap and water, just, just washing soap, and then I put a little bleach and water, um, not a lot, enough to where I can smell it, uh, a couple tablespoons, uh, you know, maybe a quarter cup and water and I kind of fill up the bladder and I kind of shake it around uh, with the um, with the bleach in it so as I take my bladder out I go ahead and pour it in here put the cap on shake it around then I make sure it goes all the way through the tube open up the tube make sure it all drains out um, if, if you squeeze the cap and then you squeeze the water and you leave this open you'll get all the bleach and everything in there I'll let it set for maybe 15-20 minutes with the bleach and the water mixture in there. Then rinse it real good. If you smell it, I got a very, very light, light smell of bleach. I'm not worried about bleach because you can purify water with bleach. So if there's a little bleach in here, I'm not that worried about it. When I fill up the water, it's just going to make my water cleaner anyway. Um, so it's not the end of the world. But um, what, what you really need to do where people mess up on cleaning these is they don't let them dry. They clean them and they, you know, they let them dry a little bit, and then you get mold in here. When you get mold in here, it's kind of a, you know, you're not going to get it out. Your water's always going to be funky. It's not good. So if you clean it with bleach, make sure you let it air out good. And because the tube naturally wants to go flat, a lot of times it's kind of hard to get air in there. So what I do is I get a little um, blow dryer. I don't turn on high. I turn on low, and I just put it in here, and it really fills up my tube, and it also if I hold the tube on here, I can actually feel air coming out of my uh, drink tube so I know it's drying the inside of this tube and the bleach or everything in there. So uh, I'll do this after I dry it just to heat the water to start the evaporation process. Uh, then I'll, I'll, I'll leave this set with the air in it for a night or so and then I'll do it one time before I shut it down to make sure that everything's inside good and dry. And uh, that's how I clean my um, camelback. So um, I know some people will be a little freaked out about the bleach, but I mean, I use bleach on everything, and uh, the blow dryer is not for my hair, it's for my horses. So sometimes I'll blow dry my horses if it's cold and they're wet, uh, just to warm them up if they're shivering. So that's why I have a blow dryer, but you know, a blow dryer is 10, 11 bucks. You can use it for other things, heat things up. It makes things uh, softer. If something's stiff, especially plastic, you can soften it up with a little hair dryer. Heats things up and, uh, you know, spill water on your computer, things like that. A blow dryer comes in handy. All right, so that's uh, cleaning a camelback my way. You can do it your way. I'm just telling you how I do it. All right, we'll end it there.